We have reports out of New York that this superbug fungus is emerging as a new menace in U.S. hospitals. Now, they're saying that this is being mostly seen in New York and New Jersey and that this was first identified in Japan back in 2009. But this fungus, they say, has spread to more than a dozen countries around the globe. The oldest of the 66 cases reported in the U.S. dates back to 2013, but most of these cases have been seen within the last year. Now, this fungus is called Candida auris. They're saying that it is a harmful form of yeast. Scientists also say that it can be hard to identify with the standard lab tests. Now, U.S. health officials sounded the alarm last year because two of three of the main antifungal drugs used to treat these types of things had little effect. They're saying it's acting like a superbug. They're saying the most vulnerable are fragile hospital patients, particularly the newborns and the elderly. It tends to be diagnosed in patients after they've been in hospitals for several weeks. This fungus can infect the wounds, ears, and the bloodstream. Now, a study presented by the CDC detailed how when they went down to South America to investigate this outbreak in three different cities in Colombia, they found that the fungus was on the surface in hospital rooms on the skin of nurses and patients even after the patients were treated with antifungal medication. So it was all over the place. And they're saying that this is a superbug. Think about this. This is taking out newborns and elderly. So it's being seen at a higher rate in New York and New Jersey. I wanted to make mention of it. Shout out to 2B Free for this information. I will update if this thing seems to spread, but I wanted to make people aware of it. I'll leave a link. It's Bendabu7.